Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for iNinja. We are using a custom resolution of 2560x1440p, native, 16 times the isotrophic filtering, map mapping is on automatic, full direct 3D, and we are using a few things in here. We are using MSAA at times 4 and skip draw ranges at 2 and 5. iNinja is a very strange game for fixes. I will get into more of it. Now at MSAA times 4, the game costs around 1.5. 1.1 gigabytes of video RAM at 1440p do not go above 8 or do not go above 4 times MSAA if you go to 8 or 16 times the game eats up all 4 gigabytes of my video RAM definitely stay away from MSAA on this game definitely I would recommend it now this game has some strange artifacting in the background so you need to set a skip draw range I'm doing 2 and 5 in the area I am now needs a preset like that um, I don't have a consistent one right now, but that's the one that's working right now for me in this area I am in. We are using texture filtering of display and FXAA shader. We are also using bilinear PS2. All HUDs in this game, as of now, or as I've checked, remain filtered, so bilinear PS2 works. I am also using an interlacing mode. I am using Bob TFF. This game looks the clearest on this interlacing mode. If you use auto, which is the the default one it looks blurry at 1440p so you want to use bub tff and we are using direct 3d 11 now this game also targets 60 frames per second so i do recommend using mtvu also if you have more than three cores i have six cores you can turn it on definitely recommended as i mentioned let's check out native ps2 now at native PS2, this game targets 640 by 448. Now, keep in mind, I do have an interlacing mode on, so the game is going to have some shaking on both software and hardware mode. Now, as you see, this is native PS2, bit of shaking around this area. And look how blurry the textures look on native PS2, as you see. Um, the game seems to be using... Oh, it's hard to even tell. I'm going to say it's using bilinear, maybe trilinear. It starts to blur roughly around there. Yeah, loads of screen shaking. Very, very blurry. A lot of aliasing. Hard to see a lot of things on screen. Now, yeah, this is what software mode looks like. Now, let's show you what hardware mode looks like. Now, hardware mode definitely needed a lot of customizing. Needed interlacing, a skip draw preset, and uh, I think maybe another thing. I forgot. Yeah, but anyway... This is what native 1440p looks. Now, as I said, both hardware and software, um, this game targets 60 frames per second, and on hardware and software mode, it actually runs really, really nice. I beat the whole game, as you see. I got the black belt, I beat the game. I'm gonna plan on beating more of the side stuff to get this as well, but as you see, look at the HUDs right there, the HUDs right here, these are all 2D sprites. You can see that they've aged, mm, they're okay for its time, not gonna lie. This grade there, that's a 3D HUD, so the higher the pixel counts you put on it, the clearer that looks. If I go to native PS2, as you see, that 3D HUD looks a lot blurrier and obviously more screen shaking, but that's okay. Back to native 1440p. Now, yeah, as I said, beat this game. Game runs very, very solid at 60 frames per second, both on hardware and software. Let's have a look at software mode. So as you can see on software mode, there's a bit of different um, color in the background, more of a different sort of, I think it's a fog effect maybe, that's what's missing on hardware mode, that's actually one of the reasons why hardware mode, no, software mode, this is on software mode, and that's the thing that's missing on hardware mode, and um, that's the thing that breaks on hardware mode, um, that's why I skipped roll, I use a skip roll preset to get rid of it, because it just doesn't look good, it, it breaks on hardware mode, now, if you look at if you're on hardware mode and you're looking at the ground at oblique angles, yes, 16 times anisotrophic filtering is in place. It is working. So if you look at oblique angles, everything looks nice and sharp. Obviously, there's a tiny bit of aliasing on the ground back there. That's because of the lack of pixel density. 1440p isn't high enough to clean up the, the ground texture as much as you would think. But other than that, this is a pretty solid title. Runs really, really nice. Looks really, really nice. Aged really well, in my opinion. The graphics are really, really good for a 2003-ish game, I think. Yeah, so, um, yeah, very, very nice. That's pretty much it. HUDs are okay for its time, or pretty good for its time. And that's basically it. Nice, solid frame rate. And that's it. All right. Thank you for watching.